And I reckon that's an absolute win. I knew you should have joined the circus, mate. Huh. Is it because no one's ever done this before? Uh. Get your fiat. I know what you're trying to do. Whee! Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another week here at Suarez HQ. We've got a fantastic week ahead. Lots and lots of really cool things happening. But today, with the sun in the sky, everything begins with a quick tidy up because we've got a client due at 11 a.m. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Mm, nice. That's looking pretty good. So I've just had a big tidy up. I'll say a big one, just a small one really. Run the hoover around, got rid of all the stuff in the corners, filled a few gaps, replaced a few tickets, had a good sweep. And yeah, although we've still got a lot of artwork, still to go around the frames, bear in mind this is a working space, but looking pretty nice. Okay, uh, clients have been and gone. It was great to meet them and very enthusiastic about having a couple of pieces for a property not too far away from where we are today, actually. So with that done, I mean, now starting to do some certificates, let's go and catch up with Aidy and see what he's up to. Right, buddy. Oh, now look. So I'd love to be able to tell you what this is all about, guys, but another machine being built for our amazing live streams. A lot of design work going on here, I'd assume. So that's pretty big. I can tell you it's 1.7 meters wide. 2.4 meters long. Talk us through it, mate. What's going on? Normally you have the wood like that. And like that. But there's a reason why I'm putting the wood this way. And that shall be revealed later on. I've got a feeling, am I right in saying, mate, this is probably going to be one of the most elaborate and adventurous ones you've ever created. While we're doing all this, guys, remember that this caster is very, very critical to what this piece of equipment is all about. Won't reveal too much at the moment, okay? But it is gonna have moving parts, which is one of the reasons why this is probably very complex to do. And as you may have seen on one or two of the live streams prior, this little fella here doo -doo 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 -doo, is pretty critical to why we're building this piece of equipment. In fact, I don't know what you might call this. We, we call them space hoppers as kids over here. I know they've got a number of different names. They call them Suarez football. Suarez football. England, hey, hey, hey. England. 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 Yeah, ma maybe that's quite timely considering what tomorrow, well, what Wednesday's going to be. But anyway. Yeah, that'd be a good game, wouldn't it? Good game, good game. Space <laughs> opera football. <laughs> so, so stay tuned, everybody, because this space opera is absolutely critical to why we are a bit lovely, mm -hmm. mate. <laughs> Uh, why we're building this machine. So we will reveal more as the construction continues. Although it's crudely set up, this is kind of working as I'd like it to do. So that one, back and forth that way. And underneath it is the other one. So I'm going to carry on with this tomorrow. It's a very crude mechanism, but hopefully it'll work. Bearing in mind this thing's probably going to get covered in paint. Now it's time to cut some canvas. We all know what that means. It's time to paint. Extractor's just gone on. I'm going to do some painting. Approaching four o'clock on the day. I don't know why it's always the afternoon when I seem to start painting. Oh, so much other things to do and stuff to get done beforehand. I, I don't know why. But we seems to be this time of the day. Anyway, that notwithstanding, I've got one client commission to do, and I'm painting a piece of perspex for a splashback, which a client has commissioned. So that's what hopefully you're going to see next. Yes, painting done. If you're new here and like what we do, then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Good morning, everybody. Tuesday beckons here at Suarez HQ. Can it really be 24 hours since I was in here? 
seems like about two. The sun's out actually, brilliant. Why does everything always feel so much better when the sun's out? Don't know, definitely a sun lover. Right, what can I tell you? So, not long got in and I'm just plowing through a stack of emails. I also, there, I've got my monthly accounts to do. <laughs> really don't enjoy doing that. Endless paperwork and inputting numbers. No, that's not very creative. I don't like it. Anyway, it's got to be done. Hopefully Aid is going to carry on with our Project XX machine today. <laughs> Okay, are you ready for this? Right then, let's show you what all this effort has been about. So Aidy's gonna give you a little demo now. So we can move up and down and left and right. There we go. How about that? Left and right and up and down. So we've got X and Y axes we can move on. Now the whole point of doing this is for us to suspend something from the center trolley, as you can see there, cart, whatever you want to call it. And then we can maneuver that at all points, left and right, up and down, across the canvas. Because we're going to be doing something very, very special with paint, which is the whole point of us building uh, this contraption. I say us, it's that man over there. He's done it, he's done it. Let me know what you think in the comments, because obviously when you see this going in for real and what it's going to produce, I think you'll be uh, just as impressed as I am. But there we go. So Aegis Design is working. We've got a few modifications to do, a few bits and pieces here and there, but that works. I knew you should have joined the circus, mate. Huh. Time to lock up, head home. Right guys, here we are on Wednesday and it's live stream day. Actually, having just got to the studio, it's very, very warm in here. What do you reckon the temperature is, mate? Hot. It is officially hot. Yeah, it's hot degrees. <laughs> hot degrees. So, we're we going to carry on uh, from where AD left off yesterday with Project X and the machine, which is now working. So we've got a couple of bits and pieces to do, and then we're going to introduce you to where we're at and what it does. show you how it works. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's have it over there, shall we? Yes, no problem. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's what we're going to work out next. Is it better to have them sideways? <laughs> there you go. Testing. That's it. Now bend, bend it sideways. So we're going to have to flatten the hook out. Yeah, definitely need to take the end of that hook out, don't we? Yeah. Right. So theoretically, could I then add? So I can also do that. Yes. If I needed to. That's interesting, so it will. Yeah, but not if it's at the far side. Working out the, All good uh, fun. the dynamics of it, isn't it? But yeah, we'll have to shave a bit off the hook. Well, let's put it this way. We're not going to be able to watch a YouTube video on it, are we? <laughs> no. I wonder why that is, mate. Is it because no one's ever done this before? Uh. So. Revision two on the uh, poles. Right, let's, let's start with the short pole first. Right, ready? Now I always thought the short pole might be a little bit too much if we've got a full sized yeah. canvas underneath well, it. We're in, we're in. Okay. Now I can go right to the end mate. Okay. And I can pull it. Okay, how easy to pull it out? Get the hook out. Okay, nice. Uh, easy. <laughs> okay. So let's try the other way. Yep. Yeah. So push and pull, out it comes. Right. So now I've got a task. I've got a, a, go on, task I've got a challenge Indeed. if you're up to it. Go on then. I want you to grab the long pole. Right. Hook it in where you are now. Take the little one out. Yeah. And then hook the little one yeah. on the second rig. Hook this on here. That's it, you got it. Right, come on then. Come on, can can you can you be ambidextrous? Oh, ah, oh, nice. see, this, this is the testing. I was never very good in the front there. Mate. Well, come on, you know, like IKEA does their testing with their uh, sofas, like you know, bum sits on them eighty thousand times in a minute. 
Ooh, right. oh. It's not bad, it's not bad. Oh. Yeah, I think we're there. Okay. We've got full range of movement. All right. Yeah, so that's doable. Okay. Doable. So yeah, keep your eye on the hopper. Yeah, I think he's having fun. He looks happy, doesn't he? He does look happy. He's enjoying that. Whee! Ha ha ha! Whee! <laughs> So yeah, I've got, I've got full range of motion there. Okay. If, if worst case, I'll just shove it with the end of the pole. Fair enough. But it works. Right, here we go. Starting up, ready for the next job. This will be interesting. I'm going to start cleaning, oh, I don't know, four. 300, 400? I don't know. How many do you think's in there? Who knows? I'm sure I'll lose count halfway through, that's for sure. Yeah, so I've got to clean all these blocks. So they've got to go through a double process. Show them the first process, buddy. So yeah, so we're going to suck off all the residual um, particles from the sanding process. That's going to get cleaned up in the hoover. And then over here, we're going to have a bath of uh, isopropanol alcohol. Yeah, and they're so going to be dipped. isopropyl alcohol. Yeah, and then pulled out and then put on a rag to dry. And then that should hopefully be getting these completely clear of debris, imperfections, impurities, grease, that kind of stuff from handling it on the sanding process. And they should be as clean as they possibly can be, ready for Project X. Right, begin the time lapse. That's enough of playing with blocks now. I mean, yeah, I uh, I loved Lego as a kid, but uh, this is a little bit more complicated than that. Let's have a quick look in the box. Uh, I'll have to tilt the camera down. Apologies for it wiggly wobbly. Yeah, okay. So uh, we've got uh, preparation to do the live stream now, so yeah. that's what we're gonna head off to do. There he is, with my good old camera that won't tilt up or down now. <laughs> I'm just posting out to social media. Just to remind everyone there's 45 minutes to go. A quick coffee because I need some caffeine, and then I think we're going to have an absolute blinder tonight. Well, we are having some uh, technical fun and games uh, this evening with uh, what we are uh, 12 minutes to go, <laughs> and uh, Aid is now having to reboot everything, all the systems. Then we've got to do a systems check, uh, which includes microphone check, chest cam check, all three camera checks. Plus there's some parameters within the broadcasting software that we also have to go in and double check and re-alter because it doesn't save them. Problem with the broadcasting software. And all that's got to be done and we've got to be ready to go and polished and professional in about 11 minutes. Oh, and go live on Instagram as well. So no pressure. <sighs> but this is what it's like when you do do a live broadcast. And if you want to do one that's pretty time critical and full of tech, which is what this one is, this is... Sometimes how it goes. We do pretty well, really, but uh, this is the first time for a little while um, that it's not been behaving itself, and it's normally because of chess cam. But then we're trying to do uh, a live stream on a camera that's not designed for live streaming, so what can you expect? So that's it. I can hear Aidy in my ears. He's obviously booting up his systems now. So fingers crossed, in 11 minutes' time, no, 10, we'll be ready to broadcast live across the internet. Wow. Well, that was good, wasn't it? I'll see if I can slip a few pictures in of the actual painting that we've done, or a link to it. But that was pretty cool, eh? What do you think of that? Woof! I tell you, that 63 minutes just literally went by in a heartbeat. I guess this is the kind of thing that happens when you find a rhythm, find your zone, and you're enjoying what you're doing. Just time just tends to just have no meaning. So I didn't even realise that we'd gone, you know, for almost an hour and 10 minutes. Crazy! But another super successful live stream, super mega happy with it. Of course I am. I get very excited by these things because we're creating awesomeness and I love that. But now at nine o'clock, I definitely do think it's time to shut the building up and think about going home. Right then guys, so we're gonna go and have a look at yesterday's live stream painting. We're gonna go in now and have a look. Gotta say when we left last night, it was looking pretty epic. We're both really, really, really super pleased with it, and everybody on the live stream was really buzzing as well. So let's go and have a look and see what we got. After you, mate. Oh, yes. Oh, mate. Wowzers. 
Now, now you can see the goal, because of course, AD, AD doesn't see it except for on the camera systems. So I get to see it here because of course I'm painting it. So this is genuinely his reaction. Mm, nice. <laughs> Seeing it for real. So I'd imagine, mm. yeah, it's a bit, it's going to be a bit tacky that. Yeah. Right? There's quite a, quite a volume of paint on it actually. Yeah. Right, look at that. Just look at that gold. Especially in this light, when we've got direct light going onto it. Yeah, that looks awesome. I like this bit down here, look. It's literally like lightning, mate. Yeah, there is. Oh yeah, look, you've seen this like river. Oh, it's yeah. just stopped, look. Yeah, see if yeah. I can capture that. Yeah, it's like a dam, you mm. see that? Yeah, under the light. Yeah, that's awesome, mate. That's better actually than when I left it. <laughs> and I reckon that's an absolute win. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. We'll get the other one in and hand it off. Yep. And then I've got a reference point. I'll ditch camera, tripod out of the way. Yeah. Work here. That can stay as it is. Extractor on. Good, Good to go. go. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Let me just explain what we've done here. So I've brought out a painting called Thrill Seeker, which is what you can see here. We've just popped that onto the shelving. I'm going to use that as a reference point now because I'm painting for a client for their dining room. We need to know the sequence that this has done. So we've just spent a little bit of time, as you've probably seen on camera, of us just trying to understand the layering sequence of this particular painting because in a, in a very short while I'm going to get masked, booted up, I'm going to get in here and actually look at replicating this on a smaller scale for a client commission. Right guys, let me show you what we're about to do. We are gonna do a resin pour. Now, I might just wanna point out, if you can have a look at the temperature here, we are really, really on the ragged edge of being able to pour in these temperatures. So I don't really know what's gonna happen, but we are gonna be casting these blocks, which we've sanded every single individual one has been cut and sanded on six sides. It's been brushed off with debris. It's been dipped in alcohol and dried times 300 and they're going in this block here all going to be arranged and i'm going to use the resin to secure everything in place now the other thing is what is under this yellow cloth and this is the easter egg this is the surprise and i can't tell you what's underneath that and i'm not going to film what's underneath that because that is only to be revealed when the client whoever buys this then will reveal on video just for them and them alone exactly what's gone inside this cast block of resin blocks. That gets you the abs. I know what you're trying to do. So with that, never gonna be revealed, but it is very, very special. And only we know what's going inside it. And we've got no idea what's gonna happen. We're gonna film everything. So what you're about to see is us taking a giant step into the unknown. Okay, let me show you what's going on here. This is a degassing chamber and it creates a vacuum and uh, what that will do is begin to pull the bubbles out that's the whole point of this process so we should only be in for around about a minute minute and a half but we're prepping the resin to try and get as many of the bubbles out as possible and that's what the degassing chamber does Okay, so we're at the point now, two thirds of the way up, where we're about to put in something very special into the center of it, kind of like an Easter egg. Now, we're gonna to have to shut the cameras off at this point because we can't reveal what's going inside. So we'll be back when that's been covered up. Right guys, so let me just uh, give you an update on where we're at. As you can hear in the background, AD's still cutting up some blocks. 
because we realized I needed 288 blocks and uh, we had about 245. <laughs> so before all the resin cures, uh, we're gonna cut some more blocks. We've got to sand them on six sides and then dip them in the bath of alcohol and then dry them off and then they're ready to go inside the mold. Just going to get Aidy some water. So I thought, uh, well, bless him while he's doing all that. I can't really dress like this. I'm doing with resin. I can't get covered in small particles and dust. Otherwise it's gonna find its way into the resin. So I'm not going down that part of the building. I'm gonna stay at the cold face, putting the blocks in and arranging them. But we're nearly there now. Just need another 15 or 20 blocks. Uh, and then it's pretty much done, which is awesome. So that's going really well. But like a lot of these things, it just requires intense concentration. Anyway, we're just on the third row now, as you've probably seen on some of the time lapses. So another 16 or so blocks and then we should be done. Right, well, that is pretty much the end of our working day. Quite a pivotal one, because as you know, we've done the blocks into the giant block, which is really important we got that done, so I'm really grateful for that. Plus we've got client commissions. Oh, did I mention that? Yeah, two, two paintings underway for a client. Uh, we've done a load of other stuff, haven't we, mate? But, uh, it's, uh, it, it just goes, we get rid of that much work, which just goes in here and out here, and you concentrate on the biggest thing in front of you, which of course today has been those blocks. But I think now, just as rush hour traffic dies down, it's time for us to lock up or go home. Right, it's the end of the week, hooray! There's Aidy just grabbing his bag as I drop him off home. Remember guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please do give us a thumbs up. And remember to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you never miss any of our videos. That's it for now. See you next time.